Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for June 2022. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Keep in mind this is general so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements. What's going on with Aquarius when it comes to love? Secret crush. I love when this card comes out. Some of you have a secret crush on someone or someone may have a crush on you. I feel like you're currently focused on healing though as you got the healing card. We have mystery and we have text message. Okay, so hmm. interesting energy. You're going to be in communication. The text message card is coming out a lot because it's the end of the retrograde. Today is the 2nd of June. Tomorrow is going to be the 3rd from when I'm doing this video. So it ends tomorrow. So the text message, the text text message card is coming out for everyone, for a lot of people, because communication is opening up. So you're gonna be hearing from people. Things won't be so annoying anymore. Let me see. What do we have for Aquarius? Same shit, different day. <laughs> we have forever, my lady, eternal love, marriage, proposal, pregnancy empress reciprocity okay let's see meeting the family there's someone that you're going to be strongly connected with you may go to some kind of family event of theirs it may not be with the intention of meeting the parents or meeting the family but you may end up meeting them randomly i don't know why i'm getting that but we have financial windfall new money increase in finance Unexpected income, job offer, pay rise, business on the up and up. Follow your heart, it leads to abundance. Increase in money, Aquarius. Who doesn't want to hear that? Oh my gosh. What do we have for Aquarius when it comes to love? What do we have for Aquarius when it comes to love? For the month of June. 2000 ouch 2022 what's going on with aquarius when it comes to love okay four of cups some of you are turning down a lot of offers in june you may have offers that you don't like like people you're not attracted to but let me see i'm getting that for some of you i hate that i hate um that feeling when you have this crush like let's say you're at the gym you have this crush but everyone else comes up to you trying to get with you except for that one crush like everyone else <laughs> makes a move except the person that you actually want some of you may experience that this month okay let's see could be dealing with a gemini aries you're compatible with both these signs oh that's cute um, there's Leo, you're compatible with Leo too. All your compatible signs are showing up. And Sagittarius, you're compatible with uh, all fire and air showing up for you. That is compatibility. Okay, so hmm, there's someone who there. This looks like someone who already who someone you already dealt with because with the Ace of Swords, this is like a new start after things did go bad or maybe communication wasn't good but they want any chance they have had this turnaround they have the will of fortune they're seeing you as the lovers in reverse this person seeing you as a relationship that didn't work out a connection that didn't work out at the time so yeah this is definitely someone you know in june they may be putting in a lot of effort but a lot of you are trying to let go of a lot of emotional baggage maybe from past relationships or childhood stuff that you're working through you're seeing this person as tower in reverse you see that they want to rebuild with you they could have rebuilt themselves as well um you could have had a physical transformation as well for some of you this person but the the emperor's in reverse with the four of pentacles there's like a controlling energy here for some of you maybe they were kind of controlling they have strength in reverse and temperance you guys have a weakness for each other. You guys may end up together very soon. They're maybe just texting back and forth at first. Why the Wheel of Fortune? Okay. 
Okay. This person, Queen of Pentacles, could be a Capricorn for some of you. Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles in reverse. This person's getting ready to open up. What in the world? They may have come to some kind of realization. They want to open up now. Why the Queen? Sorry, not the Queen. Why the Ace of Swords? Communication is opening up for sure. This person is gonna message you very soon. They're gonna. They're not gonna really be patient or wait. They're gonna reach out when they feel it. As soon as they feel it, text message, social media communication. Why the lovers in reverse? This person, they've seen you in a positive light, but they feel like things didn't go well. They feel like they didn't they didn't have it together at the time. Why the Ten of Wands in reverse? A lot of you, yeah, you have a lot of emotional stuff going on that you're trying to heal from, trying to get rid of, trying to let go of from the past. Why the Six of Pentacles? Could be dealing with a Virgo, some of you, but yeah, your goal is just healing. So you're just to yourself, healing, focused. Yeah, I didn't even remember that the healing card was there. I'm there talking about healing and releasing emotional stuff. Definitely, that's your theme. And you're definitely giving yourself time, being patient. Why the tower in reverse? That healing could be, hold on, oh my gosh. Oh, I just flew justice okay could be dealing with a scorpio transformation you've seen this person's transformed they could have transformed their body or something what was i gonna say oh yeah the healing may be the reason why you have this financial windfall coming because healing it may remove some kind of some blocks that you may have had some blocks some beliefs negative beliefs Yeah, you've seen this person, like they've made a change. It, it could most likely be physical. I don't know why I feel like it's physical. Something to do with the gym. Or maybe they just changed as a person, matured. But they've defi you're definitely seeing a transformation in this person. Or else you wouldn't be even looking at them. Because they may have done, um, they may have been a certain type of way in the past. Maybe they were immature in the past. Why the... Emperor in reverse. I just saw the Emperor in reverse again. Why the Emperor in reverse? There's been some jealousy between you two. Wanting to keep each other to yourself. Or maybe they wanted to keep you to themselves. And they get really jealous. Kind of controlling. This person may have worked on those things. Those things don't change overnight. But they may have kind of worked on it. Why the Four of Pentacles? Seems like in an effort to hold on to you, they ended up losing you. Or every time they try to hold on to you, they end up losing you. Or vice versa. Why strength in reverse? You guys may work on this. Someone's ignoring the real problems here though. Someone's ignoring the real issues because there's a weakness. Someone just wants to reconcile. It could be this person. What you don't see coming. Two of Swords is here a lot. A lot of you, either you or this person, is kind of turning a blind eye to the negative in the relationship. Just wanting to move forward together and ignore the problems. Queen of Wands. Queen of Cups in reverse. Hot and cold energy. Well... There's emotional, there's unresolved emotional issues here, but there's this desire to just move forward and get this relationship going. So I feel like it could be this person trying to just skip through the emotional work and just get straight to the being together, sleeping together. What is the moon message for Aquarius? Luck is on your side, Sagittarius energy. And surrender to the divine. What's this person's hidden truth? When it comes to Aquarius, what's their hidden truth? You and I were too young. You see, they could have been immature. 
they see this relationship as something that failed and that they didn't have it together at that time. They were not like they didn't know how to handle relationships at that time. It seems like they were not very much in control. They may have had a lot of insecurities. I wish things could be different. This looks like some this could be for some of you someone way back in your childhood. I know that sounds weird, but like someone that you may have dated as a teenager or you guys are teenagers i don't know um and then you grew up and now they see a whole new light for a lot of you it could be someone you dated years ago because of this transformation maybe they've grown up and you're seeing them differently for others of you it could be recent whatever whatever the time difference there seems to be a feeling of that wasn't the right time. So we have, you came closer than anyone. And Aquarius, I feel like you, <laughs> you're like the more free one. Even though you're just focusing on healing, it feels like this person is trying to grasp you and they can't. We have uh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Finance and career. So you're very fo focused on healing and your career and these things are going to pay off. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got to take. You may find that this person really steps up more than they did in the past. more than Because they weren't able to, I feel, in the past. Like they were just not grown enough or mature enough. But you're going to see that change. You're going to see that maturity, that difference in them. Because this is how you're seeing them. Death and the tower. It could even be that when you guys were teenagers, they were like skinny or whatever. And then you see them again and they're like big and muscly if it's a guy. That type of, it could be a physical and a, you know, personality transformation. But you're seeing them differently and you got the nine of cups here. So you're like, wow. Wow. Like you're liking what you see. So as you go on and you heal, you may hear from someone from your past. I feel for a lot of you, someone like far back in the past, like someone who doesn't even look the same anymore. They just look 10 times better, 10 times more mature. I don't know why I'm getting it like that. But for now you're healing and you're giving yourself time, which is great. So this is a mystery, yeah, definitely a mystery. I feel like you, I feel like you don't, some of you don't even know who this person is or you're guessing wrong. <laughs> But yeah, you'll be texting with someone here. Also, I'm being reminded of um, the whole secret crush thing. You may have annoying options coming forward that you're not interested in. Just be patient with the universe as it soars through your energy and decides what to send to you. Okay, so we got Leo energy, Capricorn, um, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo, Virgo. Most of the signs are here. There's Cancer, there's Leo, okay. Pisces, Aries. Most of the signs are here, Aquarius. So I hope this was helpful for you. Feel free to check your other placements. If you wanna know what else is going on, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.